Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another edition of Telescope Man. You know, one of the questions I always get, since I'm kind of a, I don't want to say avid DX uh, chaser, DX being long distance radio communications, uh, for you folks that may not know what that means, Anyway, I'm kind of a, almost a hardcore, but not really. Uh, a lot of qu the question I get all the time is, how do you know where uh, DX is being heard on the radio? Well, as many of you know, I've got a very modern uh, flex radio, and uh, it actually contains what's called a uh, DX spot map uh, inside the software that runs the radio. So I don't need any external programs or websites or anything. Uh, I get a visual representation of uh, what frequency uh, the DX station is located on and even an indication on a map of where that uh, DX uh, entity uh, country is transmitting from. But for those of you that don't have a flex radio, I wanted to give you a few websites uh, that uh, kind of well known to amateur radio operators that have been working DX for some time. But uh, if you just started uh, trying to do that, you may not know about some of these sites. So I'm going to switch you over to the screen and kind of show you some sites that will help you locate uh, DX signals coming in, uh, you know, and what frequency they're on and what the call sign of the DX station is. The one uh, thing I want to caution you about is since these are published on the Internet and everyone has access to it, once a, D a wanted DX station comes on, there's going to be lots of people trying to call that station. So there'll be a pileup, what we call a pileup. Everybody trying to call that station all at the same time. So you can't really, uh, the best technique, technique is to start at the uh, lower part of the band or the upper part of the band and work your way up or down looking for the signals and you may come across one that hadn't been reported yet on one of these uh, websites by a spotter. So uh, you may be the one of the first dozen or so uh, contacts that that DX entity makes and that means you're going to be able to make them a little easier because there won't be a lot of traffic uh, kind of uh, big gun stations uh, overriding your signal. So uh, don't rely on these sites 100%. You might want to do look at them, you know, maybe dial to those frequencies, see if you can hear anything. Uh, but you might want to just dial across the band slowly looking for DX signals. And uh, you might be able to catch one when it first shows up and you'll be the only person trying to call back or one of very few people trying to call back. So let's switch over here. With that said, let's switch over here and I'll show you some of these websites. Let me put my glasses on. And the first one I'm at is obviously QRZ. Uh, I'll put direct links to these in the comments below, but there is one located on uh, QRZ that you can jump to, and uh, these are live spots. They're updated every few minutes automatically, and you can see who the DX entity is and the frequency that that person uh, is calling on and, and maybe a little bit about what the last transmission was. So uh, here's here's a EA7 EQC. He's calling CQ, CQ, CQ on Morse code, CW. 
So uh, you can look down here and it kind of gives you an indication of what's going on. In some cases, if the spotter entered that data, so you can see here on this one, there it just updated. So you can see on this one, there's no uh, little notation. Nobody's noted anything about this yet. But somebody has spotted that signal and basically reported it to uh, dxwatch.com, which is available on the qrz.com website. Again, I'll post some links to these uh, once I get the video up. Give me about five minutes after I post it, and I'll have these links up, and uh, you'll be able to go to them and look at them. So first one is over at QRZ. Another one that uh, I use all the time is uh, DX Summit. DX Summit. Lots more uh, European stations on here. Uh, this one is located in France. So you're going to get some uh, European uh, uh, spotters on this one that are spotting signals uh, from their European location. So some of these people on VX Summit, you may not be able to hear, but you may be able to hear them uh, depending on propagation. So it's always good to check VX Summit. And you'll get those uh, European uh, stations like the Canary Islands here. But look, they're also reporting a Canadian station is coming in apparently over in Europe and somebody is reporting that person. So that's DX Summit. The third one is DX Scape. Again, the same idea, you know, it's got the call sign and the... Uh, uh, frequency and uh, you know the la the last time uh, Zulu time, which was uh, when it was heard, and you know a little more information, some notations like on some of the other sites. So those are three good sites you can use for locating DX signals that you might be able to hear. Now, <clears throat> I know that a lot of you uh, would like to see visually, so there is a site that posts real-time data on uh, uh, plots of uh, who's contacting who. So uh, again, uh, I'll uh, give you a link to this. This is called dxmaps.com, dxmaps with an S. Dot com and uh, I'll give you a direct link to this and it shows visually who's talking to who so you can kind of get an idea of propagation all right sometimes the <clears throat> this map uh, picks up a lot of them sometimes it doesn't and there are a bunch of adjustments you can make up here in the top so uh, <clears throat> you know you can fool around with it and get it to print various bands or one band or various modes if you want. So that's called dxmaps.com. Now, I know there's a lot of you that like to do VHF, UHF communications long distance. Long distance being several hundred miles to maybe a thousand miles at best. Uh, anyway, there's a site that shows you the better propagation areas for VHF, UHF, DX, long distance, uh, contacts. So you can see there's this big orange area down here. If you look over here, it's saying that it might be possible to get 500 kilometers if you're inside this area right here, all right? And the yellow would be 250 kilometers. You know, if you're in a yellow area, you might be able to talk from here to here, maybe, maybe, maybe. So if you're in the VHF, UHF, uh, <clears throat> 
then I'll, I'll give you a link to this propagation map so you can see uh, the possibilities for long distance radio communication VHF UHF all right so uh, there seems to be a big opening right now right here in the United States probably due to some weather system going through but uh, if you enjoy trying to make two meter uh, contacts a long way using a beam, this is the site you need to go to. Let me get you back over to me. And with that, we're going to call this one a take. I hope that helps some of you uh, uh, maybe do a little bit better job of uh, locating uh, those weak DX signals coming in by looking at a website and at least knowing what frequency uh, that signal is on. And also you'll be able to see the call sign. Many times in uh, when you're working DX, uh, it's a very weak signal and pulling out the call sign of a person that is not using normal phonetics uh, and is using something different, or maybe not using phonetics at all, sometimes can be very difficult. Uh, anyway, these sites will help you get the call sign correct uh, when you attempt to make a contact. So with that said, as I usually do, I wish you clear skies in 73, and remember to keep looking up to see the greatest show on earth right over your head every single night. It's cloudy out there, so I'm not going to be out there tonight. Anyway, be good. Subscribe. See you all later. Come on back.